and welcome to this short video on how to use Excel for admin use. Um, this is the second part of this series of videos on Excel for administrative use. And in this video, I'm going to be focusing on how to do numbering. So if you have this task manager as we worked on in the previous uh, uh, video, um, imagine that you have different kind of tasks and you have this column where you describe the tasks, but each task that you identify will be giving a certain category. Uh, so here we could put, say that uh, I have a task that I've categorized for um, as a marketing task. Um, so, and I may have a task I categorize as an economy task. Uh, or one that I categorize as an HR task, right? So these different kind of tasks that I've been categorizing, I can have several different marketing tasks, uh, but these are just the categories, I, and, and that's not the, 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 the point here. The thing uh, is that I would like to have these numbered because imagine I have 10 different tasks that are categorized under marketing or different categories, and I'm sitting with my task team and we are discussing these different tasks. So to have some kind of uh, um, unique numbering to identify which task we're talking about would be a plus because then we didn't need we don't need to go into large discussions on what task it is or which which one of them it is that we're discussing. So therefore, I have this column here for numbering, and I'd like for this one here to say uh, give the first task the number one. And it can only, it should only be giving the number one if there's something written here. This one, number two, this one, number three. But this one, there's nothing been identified here, so this one shouldn't be any number at all. And how can I use Excel to do that on automized? Well, I can do it through the uh, if form. So I go up here in my functionality, I can search for the if form here, but I already have it down here in my select, uh, in, in my previous use form, so I click on the if form. And how the if form works is that it has, a, it needs to do a logical test. Uh, the logical test here is to say if this cell uh, B6, if B6 contains anything at all or not. So what I'll do is I'll click on this icon here that allows me to work in my sheet. Then I click on cell B6 because that's the one I want to evaluate. And then I put uh, greater than zero because I want to know if this one has something in it or not. If it has something in it, it's because it has a category in it and there's a task identified. If that happens, then uh, and meaning the logical test is true, then I want it to be one. So you should count one. And if nothing is in it, I want it to be blank. And the way I do that is that I make these two small signs here um, with no uh, uh, space in between them. That allows Excel to go and leave it blank. And I click OK. I'll see that it says um, one now. Now, if I just if I just copy this, it'll number all of them one, and I don't want that to happen because I I want it to be uh, unique. So how I can do this, I can of course go in here, I can create a new form or I can just copy it because it's the same form that I'm going to use for this. I'll open the form again. The uh, evaluation is still going to be the same except now it's not B6 but B7 that I'm evaluating if it's larger than zero. If nothing is, if it's not, if it's false, then I still want it to be blank so I continue having these signs here. Um, but where it differs is here if it's true. So what happens if it's true? Well, if it's true, I want it to take the cell just above, cell A6, that has the number 1. And then I want to add a number to that. App. So I, I do cell A6 plus 1. Um, then you can see here, if it's true, it becomes 2. So I click OK. And then I can go here and I can pull it, I can uh, copy it all the way down, uh, which uh, enables uh, or allows Excel to go in and say, okay, well, every, for this cell A7 and down, it takes, it, it evaluates if something is written in the same uh, row uh, in the column B. And if it is, then it 
takes the one number above plus one. So this one becomes two. And here for the uh, for this row, it becomes three because it takes two plus one. And it goes like that all the way down. Uh, and at the same time, if I delete one, it disappears. Now, when you do it like this, when you do numbering like this, you need to make sure that you um, don't leave any blank spaces in the row. So if I start typing something here, let's say I type HR here, Excel won't recognize because it's missing this one up here. So I need to make sure I don't have any gaps. Um, so it needs to be up here. It could be an IT or HR. It doesn't matter. Okay. So for now, I'll delete these because I don't need any categories in it right now. And later on, we will be discussing uh, how to do drop downs because I want to make sure that my um, categories are written the same way uh, every time. If I do any typos, uh, then it won't, uh, for later purposes, it won't calculate as, as, as I want, as I desire. So, uh, well, this was how to use uh, the if form on numbering. I can just click here so you can look at the form up here. This is what it looks like. Uh, and for the first row, and it differs a little bit for the second because it has the one above plus one. And that's how it goes all the way down. You see how it shifts here. So this was it. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for this time. Uh, and uh, enjoy yourself and go train on your Excels. Have a good day.